Kira. Children, today we are going to start our first lesson of EVS subject. So children, what is your first lesson name? That is living world. What? Living world. Children, do you know what is environment? Yes, all the physical surroundings on earth are called environment. All the physical surroundings on earth are called environment. In this environment includes everything living and everything non-living. So what are those living things and non-living things? The living thing, living beings are which have the living characteristics and non-living beings which do not have the living characteristics. For example, animals, birds, mountains, forest, river, soil, insects. Not only this, in your home also you can see table, chair, window, TV, etc. Children, down I prepare some columns. In first column you can see component of environment and living thing, non-living thing. So in the component of environment, we can see birds, balloon, stone, mango tree, pen, vehicle. So in these we have to put right mark to living beings. So birds, is this living thing or non-living thing? Exactly, living thing. So we should put right mark to living thing, birds. Balloon, non-living things. Stone, non-living things. Mango tree, living thing, pen, non-living thing. Vehicle, vehicle, is it living thing children? Yes, you are correct. It is non-living thing. So children, we said birds and mango trees are the living thing. How we have decided these are living thing? Yes, children, before we decide the living things, we must understood about characteristic of living beings. What characteristics of living beings? So, what are those? Living beings are made up of cells. Living beings respire. Living beings eat food. Living beings grow. Living beings move. Living beings excrete. Living beings reproduce. Living beings respond to stimulus. Living beings have life span. So now one by one we will see briefly. So the first one is living beings are made up of cells. So in this uh, you can see two pictures of cells. One is animal cell and plant cell. So in this animal cell we can see the parts, cytosol, nucleus, plasma membrane, actin etc. So, in the plant cell, chloroplast, lysosome, uh, cytoplasm, ribosomes, nucleus, etc. So, these are the uh, uh, cells of animal and plant. So, the one more point is, children, you must observe how house is being constructed. So, when house will uh, building, house will be building, that time, what we will uh, uh, take the things, Bricks, cement, water, steel, wood are arranged in an order. Then only uh, the house gets ready. Isn't it? Yes. Similarly, the body of living beings is made up of cells. Yes, no? So, children, living beings are made up of cells. So, the second point, living beings respire. So, what is that? So, respire means respiration. So, in the first picture, we can see human respiration. What? Human respiration. We have learned that living beings respire during respiration. Living beings take in air, use the oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. When we will breathe in, we will take oxygen. When we will breathe out, will give carbon dioxide. So, uh, in the case of plant respiration, plants also depend on oxygen for their respiration. Usually, they respire through stomata. So, what are the stomata? Small openings. 
which are present on the lower surface of leaves you can see in the first picture and second picture small openings like holes uh, they are called stomata so with the help of oxygen the energy in the food is made available to living body children in the third picture you can see uh, as like human respiration breathe in breathe out in stomata also uh, they will give out oxygen and take in carbon dioxide so children living beings respire so the third point is living beings eat food so here also we can see food of animals and plant food so now food of animals animals do not prepare their own food they depend on plants and other animals for food therefore animals are called heterotrophs children why animals are called heterotrophs because they depends on animals and plant food they will not prepare the their uh, food by own okay so uh, this uh, on this uh, based of food uh, we can uh, divide the animals in three types what are those herbivore carnivore and omnivore so what is this herbivore so animals that eat only plants and plant products are called herbivore so for example cow rabbit parrot deer horse etc so these type of animals eat only plants and plant products so next carnivore animals that eat other animals are called carnivore for example lion tiger lizard etc so this type of animals they will eat only other animals or other animals flesh okay next one omnivore animals that eat both plants and animals are called omnivore for example dog cat crow human being etc so human being children so even we the people <clears throat> will eat both plant products and other animals isn't it yes so human being is also omnivorous animal so children now food of plants so each part of a plant does one or the other activity don't they also need food children how much plants obtain their food yes green plants produce their own food that is why green plants are called autotrophs but in the animals they depends on uh, plants and animals food isn't it yes so in the case of plants they will prepare means plants prepare their food by own so that they called autotrophs heterotrophs and autotrophs so next plants use energy carbon dioxide in air absorb water minerals and salt from the soil through roots and prepare food with the help of chlorophyll in leaf so this process is called photosynthesis so children this photosynthesis process you can see in the first picture in detail okay so in the third picture the leaf so it is in the green color because of, because chlorophyll will be there so it takes sunlight and carbon dioxide uh, plus water from the soil and it gives carbohydrates and oxygen so children down i prepare one column which and from what solar energy from what we will get the solar energy obviously sun correct water minerals and salt from the soil carbon dioxide from atmosphere chlorophyll from green leaf so next children in the preparation of food by the plants glucose is produced and oxygen is released just only in the last picture we have seen isn't it in uh, photosynthesis glucose is uh, produced and oxygen is released so what is the use of these two glucose and uh, oxygen glucose circulates in the blood of animals as blood sugar oxygen is used by animals and plants in the respiration children i said plants prepare their food by own but in that some plants are there they will eat insects they will wait for the insects to eat so what are those those are insectivorous plants 
the plants which that eat insects are called insectivorous plants they depends on insects for nitrogen so in the first picture you can see uh, these are uh, some examples for insectivorous plants drosera nepenthes utricularia so in first picture drosera uh, I, on that uh, plant that honey bee came and sit that drosera plant is eating the honey bee so these are insectivorous plant so next point is living beings grow so living beings grow means what is growth children yes the process of increasing in size and height in an organism is called growth the process of increasing in size and height in an organi organism is called growth so in the first picture uh, you can see uh, human beings so first uh, baby kid and adult isn't it and uh, in the plant also in the case of plant also gradually the plant will grow and animals uh, egg chicken and hen so this picture shows the growth of that particular organism so this is living beings grow <coughs> so children i hope you understood these four characteristics of living beings still five are there we will continue in the next video so children now the time for homework so before this children what you should do after this video once you have to read the textbook till four points okay so now homework divide the animals as follows so in bracket you can see some animals name you have to divide the animals as herbivore carnivore omnivore so this main is there in the textbook page number seven second main an activity which from what is given below so this main also it is there uh, page number five third main how do they help us refer textbook page number five so living being elephant bullock dog uh, you should write these animals how they help us okay how they help us and what they will do their work they you have to write here okay children thank you